with Caney Village with Barrett and Dakari. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt the the guitar here. Is this oh, no, going to be fine. okay? Yeah, we'll be all fine. All right. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell us what what's what's going to happen here today besides the the storms, the ominous storms. Uh, we're gonna play some music and just kind of air Chill. it out acoustically. <laughs> we do this on the bridge a lot. Oh, um, really? Cool. You know, it's kind of a contrast to our, our live shows because usually it's borderline funk metal, bluegrass, Americana kind of stuff. Cool. Um, we'll get into yeah. it. We, I'll talk about the street stuff a little bit later. Yeah. That's cool. That's All good right. That you guys I, do I will that. back away That's from fun. you. <laughs> and you guys, you want to start off playing something and then we'll, we'll talk some more. We'll get ourselves together over here. Sure, yeah. Okay. We'll start with the song called uh, US 64. It's about uh, just kind of life and the essence of the Ocoee, Polk County, where there's been a lot of time. I love Polk County. Kind of like an outlaw song. Figure that would be accurate. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That did make me um, envision the Coe Polk County. Spent a lot of time there as a reporter. Interesting oh, stories. Oh, I'm sure you have. Yeah, <laughs> I have. Yeah. Lots I try to write about on. a lot of the stuff that doesn't make the news, like the you know some of the the better elements of Polk County. The beauty. The beauty of it. Yeah. <laughs> 
that's good. Yeah. It's probably a good thing. Yeah. Matt, did you have you worked as a guide up there? You didn't know that. I, I haven't, but I've pretty much done everything else. Like I have a bunch of good friends that are raft guides. Our band kind of started as like a raft guide band. Really? Yeah. We had like some of our original members that aren't with us anymore. That's cool. We're all raft guides, and we kind of just evolved. We came from the Ocoee and then came down here. And Very then, cool. Came yeah. from the water. Came from the water. Yeah. A bunch a of mermaids and mermen. I guess. There's actually an old song you wouldn't know it because you're young by the Toadies called. Um, come from the water. Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, sure. You should look it up. Okay. I'm old. Uh, there's a place called Dumpy's, right? Oh. In the Ocoee? Oh, yeah. There is. A lot of people play there, right? Yeah, we've probably played there like eight times. Cool. We've probably been there like 800 is times. Is it fun? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's a fun place. It used to have dirt floors, actually. Oh. That sounds fun. There's right. actually another That's bar, the too. Name. There now, a friend of mine runs called the Bus Bar, and the they just bar? took a school bus put an awning on it and put kegs in it and have a stage there. That's and fun. And now they have music events You don't like think that sounds weekend. fun? No, I, I, we probably did similar, but we didn't have an official name for it. I we used to hang out at airport <laughs> hangers. I'm from actually Polk County, Florida. I, I got Polk nothing. County, Florida. That's I, got, I got nothing for that one. So I know all that about Polk like County. That sounds like I should have a song written about it. Yeah. 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 Or, or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody from Lakeland, Florida knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So let's talk about you guys. Are you both from this area? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Orange Head, you guys. Yeah. Cool. Now, I, I was going to say uh, people who've been around for a long time will know Dakari's dad. Yeah. Uh, Daryl. My dad. With, oh. Uh, the mailman. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, yeah, the mailman was awesome. like. Talk about bars and having a good time. They still are. They're I've around. A lot of stories. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we might can talk country. off camera. Yeah, <laughs> there was. Why? They were great. Are great. Uh, but so Dakar's been around and also playing several bands, right? You were in how many that made the road to nightfall? Uh, I played in four bands in Road to Nightfall. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I'm working with about seven to eight bands in the city. A little busy. Right now. Yeah, pretty busy. I had yeah. to pay him five hundred dollars just to show up. To oh, <laughs> that's good. To get He's out of getting bed. paid. That's the way to do that's it. Good. And he picked me up too. Wow, <laughs> on it. Good man. All well, right. Yep. Yeah, play another one, and we'll talk yeah. some more. All right. Uh, let's do the song's called "Take Me Down." If I ask of you, 
<laughs> One of my friends just was texting me, and I hate when I get these kind of responses that I look so thrilled during the music. I am thrilled. <laughs> I am listening. I am paying attention. Uh, you have a beautiful voice, oh, and then thank you. I just don't know how anyone can play that. So I'm just I'm years just, of training. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just lost in it, Danny. Okay. In, yeah. in the band, do you play electric? You play. I play thing? electric bass in the band yeah. usually yeah who I'll else pull this out for all of the cool all the side work yeah i want to ask about that in a second but who else is in the band um, guys some credit. right now we actually just like went through kind of a lineup change uh and so now it's just me dakari and our drummer hunter we're a three-piece at the moment um but we're kind of just we're open we're always looking for someone to kind of add That's a new cool. thing but we're just trying to focus on keeping our kind of core tight and just going from there because if we have that stuff dialed in then like there's a bunch of talented people in Chattanooga and they totally. can just hop in and you know spice it up a little bit yeah it's cool that's very cool what is that what was that song about take me down uh <laughs> it's about a hangover really yeah <laughs> I always associate songs like it was about a woman I guess a woman could be like a hangover, well, right? Sometimes, like when I write it, like it'll yeah. start it's off like that, and then it'll and it'll take you know it can it can mean different stuff to even the same person. Yeah. So then you're like, oh, that means that too, and mm -hmm. then you just kind of internalize it, and then yeah. like the last half of the song may be like those two things combined together. Cool. Yeah, I liked it. How much of the street performing do you do? And I, and I know Dakari is, are you still interning over at uh, yep. Sound Course, which is kind of running the street performances? So yes, the sidewalk stages. Sidewalk stages. How much of that are you doing? And uh, how is it different than Well, the season the band? for sidewalk stages will start in a few weeks. They just did the auditions over the weekend. And those that are already on the list per se are still on the list and they held the auditions and i guess the season four being outside has just begun and yeah. we've been outside as much as we can so uh we've been trying to do it on wednesdays it's kind of been like the past thing for the two weeks for the past two weeks we've been out on walnut street bridge on wednesdays but we'll probably won't do that some today of, some of the musicians that have done been in and done that you get an instant feedback, don't you? You learn a whole lot. You, li yeah. you learn what people like and don't like. You know. You see what makes people stop. You see what makes people yeah. walk away. Yeah, like, you see all that. It's yeah. like a focus group. Ouch. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. a very intense focus group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and if then, they don't like it, they're not sticking around. But, but everybody's different. So some people could like something and other people don't. But I guess there are things that are popular among right. everybody. Right. What's popular, guys? Wonderwall. <laughs> song. Yeah. We didn't ask to play that a bunch of times. Uh, really? Yeah. Are you serious? That's funny. But we don't. Uh, no. But we do. <laughs> but we don't. That is an, That's very popular. I would though. never <laughs> think of that being a request. So, do you guys hate requests? No. I always feel like all musicians despise people. If they have a good request, request, you know, like, what if it's my favorite song? Like, yeah. I can definitely do that for you, but. I've stopped requesting. Have what, you ever requested? Well, I love Neil Young, but I'm, I'm in that sort somebody. of. See, I'll take Neil Young. Requests. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else are the ones you won't do? That's what I'm curious. I know what's on my list that I wouldn't do. Um, I, I guess Wonderwall. That's Wonder why I brought Wall. up. Because <laughs> honestly, if we could get a 14 minute Freebird down, like we would play it. That's a really fun song. See, yeah, yeah. Freebird is the one cool that song. comes to mind. Rocky Top. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, that okay. happened the other day. Somebody oh, asked man. us to play that's Rocky Top. That's a pretty fun song to play too. Honestly, like that one down in Georgia. That's a really oh, fun that's one fun. to play. that's fun. That reminds me of college. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Do you guys use uh, the street performance to do different things than you would with the band? Maybe to try things, maybe a new song or uh, practicing outside, and we promote. Yeah, a shows of coming up. Yeah, that's usually what we try to do. It's usually just a, play, a time for us to get together with other musicians. We've been trying to invite just other people from around the city to join us when we're out. So we're just like, hey, we're going to be here. If you want to bring something, bring whatever you want. Oh, see, that's, that's cool. different. Yeah, that's a good idea. And we can, like, cut our teeth and stuff, too. It helps us get our chops together. We're playing when it's, like, hot and muggy outside on acoustic instruments. Yeah. So then when we go back inside, you know, we got our stuff dialed down. <laughs> Seems easy. The weather is so crazy Because, <laughs> you know, here. sometimes we'll just play the same five songs over and over again. We'll right. cycle through the, the crowds or whatever. So we get Yeah, to know well, that makes well. sense. And you guys are on Facebook. It's at Caney Village with a C, C-A-N-E-Y. And I saw you guys. You 
usually post when you're going to be somewhere. So if you guys want to follow them, that'd be cool. Please do. Yeah. Awesome. All right. What are you going to do next? Um, so wait. Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> An all minor version. <laughs> um, this song is called Step in the Woods. I think I kind of also wrote this one about Polk County area hiking. You know, Love it. Kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Song. It's a lot of notes. I had, I had an idea. Since we have people here, do you guys have any questions? Oh my gosh, what a good idea. We haven't had an audience <laughs> like this before, so catching you off guard. I know, yeah, no, I'm catching you off guard. If you do, think about it. But uh, be fun. Questions, comments. Is everyone a little shy? <laughs> yes. Do you know where you're playing out next? Working people yeah, will see? Yeah, on you? April 15th, uh, it's Saturday. Next Saturday, playing at JJ's with Over Easy and Sun's Out. Over Easy. Uh, we, but we played both those bands at Road to Nightfall, so we kind of put something together from that. Yeah, we got to know those guys at the, at the Road to Nightfall. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, they're the UTC guys, right? They do kind of a... Over Easy is, yeah, yeah. Sunsap is, like, I think... I don't think any of them are in school anymore. Uh, I like yeah. the name Over Easy. That's they fun. do kind of a jam. Yeah, they're, they're jammy. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're well. cool. That's fun. Uh, guitar player, I'm not going to think of his name, but Adam. One, uh, Adam won the guitar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're good. That'll be fun. I still haven't been to JJ's. Isn't that weird? I, yeah, I JJ's guess. I mean, if you're I think at airport, Oh, it is weird? Yeah. I like weird places. <laughs> you probably like it. Yeah. Why haven't I been? 
Yeah, what was it, a top 50, top 75 uh, club in the country? Oh. Yeah, we made some, some, some list. Yeah. Don't they all? It's a cool yeah. Place. yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's April 15th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else? I saw on your Facebook page we were talking about that you've, you've been to Ziggy's. Ziggy's is still having live music. Yeah, yeah we they're trying to revamp. Yeah, they have. They, yeah. Music, uh, it's a good story. Box, Ziggy's music. It opened, reopened in the back room, right? Yeah. yeah. It up okay, bit, cool. So. Anything yeah. else? Anywhere else you're going to, you know you're going to be? Yeah, uh, we're playing Maypot Fest, which is going to be at Dumpy's. Uh, oh, cool. I think a lot of, like, Tennessee's Dead. Nick, Nick, let's go. Yeah, for real. That'll be cool. Yeah. Um, Animal. That's gonna be a good show. Animal. Yeah. Yeah. It's Nick just got there. married, right? Yeah. Animal? What? Nick. 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 Yeah. He just yeah, got married. I'm seeing this. Oh wow. Congrats. I'm gonna be at the Foundry this weekend with Rick Rushing. I just saw that he. It's on the, the seventh. Is that Friday? Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Saturday. I saw he invited. And your friend Dan's birthday was yesterday, right? I know. Sorry. Oh, happy, happy, birthday, happy birthday, Dan. He's been I on love here a couple you. of times. I didn't go to his party. <laughs> he was playing at um, the backstage bar. Yeah, happy birthday. I'll make it up to you. I'm going to Brian Wilson with Danimal. That's my present to you. Yeah. And did you talk to Brian Wilson today? I did, that's why I was late, I apologize. Just the Brian the Wilson. Yeah, that's why he was late. We're gonna excuse Sorry. it. Yeah. Terrible name dropping, but yeah. I'm a little excited. He's well, yeah, kind of that's, hero. that makes up for my birthday <laughs> thing too. Yeah, if he's playing here at the Tivoli, I think it's on May 7th. I think I'm still a little bit nervous from it. You are? <laughs> yeah, wow. that's he's one of the few that that would uh, make you nervous. Make me nervous that way, but he yeah. was cool, so it was great. Yeah, um, very cool, very cool. Well, any questions? I ask? no. No? More yeah. music. Influences. Oh, good. Good question. Good question. Thank you. Who are y'all's influences? influences? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen to a lot of like Stanley Clark and um. That makes sense. Uh, Snarky Puppy. Snarky like, Puppy. I like stuff like that. Like I also listen to a lot of rap music. I've yeah. recently Stanley like, met some man. of the local hip hop artists in town. Like I've kind of been listening to a lot of them, like Swavo. And, I love Swavo. Uh, Michael Da Vinci. I'm working with him on some him. stuff, maybe. Cool. And actually just recorded an intro for his latest project. Awesome. That's cool. That sounds cool. And Tut. Like all the locals, they're cool. We need to get some of them in here. Let me, Swavo's let me, been in here. I'm gonna brag on Dakari a little bit. He okay. he. We talked months and months ago when he heard about Samcor. And correct me if I'm telling this wrong, but he basically showed up at one of the first meetings with the intention of meeting any and every musician you could meet, right? Yeah. And I sat next said, to I want to play with yeah, you. Yeah, I sat next to Rick for like 10 minutes while he was like having a whole other conversation. And he finally looked over and was like, hey, what's your name? He was like, yeah, we'll jam next week. And I've been playing with Rick ever since. Yeah. And it was because of Soundcore. That's where I met you with him at uh, Blue Water. You guys were playing. Yeah, we held That's Blue Water for an, all of last now. year. I, I admire that. He just he wanted to learn and wants to play, right? So yeah, I'm actually my, put yourself out there. I want to work with. Um, I played with Courtney Reed and Marcus White and Yachty and a gentleman named Michael Hell a couple of weeks ago at um, Barking Legs for like their jazz Sunday, uh-huh. like Velvet Poetry Productions. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, but that was tight. And I want to work with Marcus more, so I learned a bunch working with Marcus and Yachty that day. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. We always talk about how all the musicians locally are actually cool to one another. Yeah. So that's a big deal. Definitely. Another question. I had a question. Yeah, just what are some different ways for like local musicians to get involved in Chattanooga? Um, personally, I just moved up here about two weeks ago. Oh, so, wow. I mean, even if people are watching this, like, what are some ways to get involved or organizations or uh, find people to play with? Sound the yeah, first Yeah, so he's, he just moved here two weeks ago and wants to know where musicians can get involved with other local musicians so i can tell you soundcore is one of them it's right across the street uh, but i'll let you guys answer other than that like i didn't soundcore wasn't around when i started playing music here so we just go to like tremont play the open mics sometimes and then i think it's tuesday like, right it's on tuesday yeah. and then uh there's that and then rhythm and bruise used to be in town that was another good place to kind of get get your licks but um really just get in contact uh with i mean john shoemakers is probably the most accessible one he owns jj's and oh. you can get in contact with him on facebook and if you you know if you have like I mean, even just like one recording or if you just come in on a bill like just talking to people because i mean you know a, a lot of people go through 
JJ's, and you know, if you just if you go in there and play your stuff well, then that's you kind of have a pass, and then you can just build from there. But yeah, Soundcore is probably the best resource. Uh, it's a little bit more direct, and it's called Soundcore. Yeah. With a P, with the silent P. Yes. Yeah, it's it Facebook literally too. is in the great building across the street, the Arts Building. Uh, it's designed for what you're asking, basically. It's a networking uh, organization as well as a promotional organization for local music. So yeah, just you can go online and think it's soundcore.org, isn't it? Um, or you just go on Facebook. Walk across the street. Yeah, or walk and introduce across yourself. The street. Street. Yeah. yeah, he's. I cool. might go see what he's doing. Yeah. Hook you up. The car can hook you up. So yeah. It's a good question. Um, Okay, you want to take us out on one last song? Let's do Walmart. All right, this is a song I wrote about the woes of Walmart and going there. (laughs) (laughs) The checkout is the worst. (laughs) Yeah. Most of it's self checkout. Um, I'm 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 challenged. Always (laughs) breaks. to do than just Walmart, though. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. (laughs)
<laughs> Maybe after the fact, I was like pretty yeah. like I had my like my angst like singularly focused on Walmart. But Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, that's what music does, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Cool. We want to thank you guys, Barrett and Dakari from Caney Village. Go on Facebook, like them, share this. That's how we spread the music, spread the love, right? Yep. Thanks, Puckets, again for being Always. Our sponsor. Puckets, yeah. our music sponsor. Thanks for sponsor. having us there last week. Puckets, we'll come have us play. Sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Hire us. Yeah, come have us play. Yeah. <laughs> that works out there was a girl Courtney Holder who played last week and I've been seeing on her Facebook that she has been playing there a lot over the last week so Courtney Holder if you want to ask her yeah we know her oh cool yeah okay. I was cool Sweet we know girl. Courtney we got your sign behind us come hire yeah, us yeah everything yeah. Is, it's yeah. all set up uh, this was your audition okay. it's all what else you need <laughs> thanks to Mark Jones for giving me the orange juice this morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah Cool. All right. All right, I teach his son to... at the Mountain Arts Community Center. Who is it? Mark Jones. Mark, oh, oh yeah. I teach Mark. his son. Yeah. He's young. Let's go. Hi, Mark. At the yeah. At the uh, yeah, that's because school is closed early everywhere, and yet there is not a drop of rain in the sky. Yeah, the full yes. color weather window. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we're going to be good. yeah, we're going to be getting into all of that because uh, you guys love it, right? Maybe something will happen this time at two. So thanks again. Thank you guys. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. And, uh, Dakari, tell your dad, hey. I will. Yeah, tell Rick, hey. I will. And Rick, yeah. yeah. And um, we'll see ya.